I'm eating my ice cream. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's Anna from Scraps of Beauty. I'm trying to scoff down my ice cream like real quick. <laughs> How are you guys? Let me pop out my chat here. I'm getting a brain freeze trying to eat this so, <laughs> so quick. <laughs> Shoot, hold on. <laughs> oh, where am I here? <laughs> Hi, Mitz. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Sorry. I just have to, I can't, I'm going to get a brain freeze. I just have to eat it real quick. It's so hot up here today. <laughs> Hi, Heather. How are you? Hi, Colleen. Hi, Susan. Hi, Mitt. <laughs> Who else did I miss? Um, Hi, Whip. I'm going to finish it quick, I promise. <laughs> Hi, Kathy. Oh my gosh, if you guys didn't see Kathy with her Johnny Depp, I'm not doing faces tonight. <laughs> yeah, that's what I need, hot fudge. <laughs> Hi, Green Glams. Hi, Aileen. Oh my gosh, does, I never knew, is Laura always on at this time? Because I thought she was on earlier. Hi, Bunny. I thought she was on like in the afternoon. Hi, Sandy. I didn't realize she was on like now. She's been on like for an hour, I think. So I found my little journal. She was always on at this time? Huh, I don't know why I thought she was on earlier. Two more spoons and I'll be done. <laughs> Well, who else is on? I thought on Sunday night there wasn't really anybody else on. That's kind of why I picked this night. I know Carrie, but Carrie was glad to give it up. Hi, Eric Chick. I got your um, email. I sent you back today. Oh, Carrie usually streams in the morning. Hi, Marilyn. Oh, well, I don't know. Maybe I should go on. What time is she finishing? Like 8.30? That means I have to come on like 8.30 to 10.30. Yeah, I didn't know that she streams at this time. I don't know why. I thought she used to stream on Saturday. Yeah, I thought she usually streamed like earlier. Like 9 o'clock. I mean, not 9 o'clock. Like 12 o'clock Eastern or like 2 o'clock. I, I didn't realize that she... She would go on this late. Hmm. All right. Well, thank you for letting me finish my ice cream. Mm -hmm. Brain freeze. Oh. But it was kind of hot here today. Well, it's hot upstairs anyway. Okay. I'm done with that. That's my favorite vanilla ice cream. <laughs> No, we're not talking about Laura. I'm talking about um, Laura, Laura Dennison. I didn't know she streams like this. I thought she streamed like earlier. So I also got these. I don't know if we'll do this tonight, but I got them out. <laughs> so we'll see. So I did find my book. So I'm going to bring it down one so you could see. Uh, let's see. Camera. <clears throat> Uh, my nose is like really bad like my allergies are like bad today <clears throat> so sorry for the sniffles okay there we go hi Pam <laughs> yeah all right so this is my my journal from like 2013 2013 and I always like to do the cover because it always makes me kind of want to pick it up quicker if it, the cover looks nice you had ice cream while you were watching Ash? <laughs> That's good. Me too. If summer comes, it's like I had to have ice cream. <laughs> so, I did this in August 2013. So, that was, what, like two years ago? Kind of. <laughs> so, this is kind of my first page. The little, um, you know, I love those little fairy babies. So, that was that. Hi, Mitzi. <laughs> 
the covers thank you the covers i love the cover and then this we did a birthday page so this was um a stencil crafters workshop i think so and that's my birthday it's always the 17th that's why you see me xandra 17. <laughs> you skipped supper and had dessert that's good and then this was a page that we did where we used the um, glue haku gun and then we made some like stencils of course i didn't finish my page and we some did some gelatos so that's that one the little bird and then i didn't i um had some stamping because i was doing a canvas for dawn hi gay and so i stamped off on these pages here so you can see that now when i stamped it just looked like a bat and so that's what i did <laughs> And you see this, this has a lot of metallic. Um, I love these um, Viva Decor. This is at, they went out of business now. They're not um, in business anymore. If you have a Joann's by you, some of them are on sale for $1.29. I'm trying to see if I have another little bottle I could show you. We might use some of those tonight because I have quite a few of those. So. I have to use a. <laughs> that's abused and not petted <laughs> so true Eileen I must have like I don't think I have another one did I bring it up to see if I brought it where I just did the front cover and I didn't do anything inside <laughs> and then this is where we did um where I showed them how to make their homemade texture paste can you see it yeah there it is and we made this it still smells like baby powder all right Vicky <laughs> You want ice cream? Oh, and this is, where's Carrie? Carrie would love this page. You see this one with the owl, the white owl? We started with it white, and then um, I wanted to color it. Did, I, uh, did you say this was done in a class? I taught these classes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, I have no knowledge, and these girls wanted me to teach them. Just teach us, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh. So, but this was inspired, and I wrote it down here um, on Facebook. I think the group is called Art Journal Junkies or Art Journal something or other. And she, um, her name was Kelly, Kelly Lore, L-O-H-R, I don't know. I think she did hers, I don't think she did hers in white. Hi, Chi-Chi. Um, but the girls were, I know they were afraid. They're, I'm like, come on now, we got to spray. And they're like, no, no, we love white owls. I'm like, sure you do. <laughs> but um we just printed out the owl eyes and then i put some glossy accents on there and um used my little paper towel and so i did that and then this one we just worked with gelatos and some texture paste so <laughs> thank you colleen since i don't know what i was doing and they're like this is my favorite page and um let me just plug you guys in because i think i'm gonna lose my battery hold on Oh my god, there is a cord. Oh. I have like so much stuff around me because it's like, with the mixed media, it's like, I don't know, you have to make sure you have paint, you have to have this. Oh. Quite a bit more than I thought <laughs> I was going to need. Let me plug it in. cutter that won't need that time so and then this was i think this was the last class that we had oh this was just i just stamped off some yellow on here but um this is with black gesso and we did a, a metallic um gelatos so that was our little peacock can you see him he's all metallic -y. and then we used a big feather um stencil didn't they come out cute? He's my favorite. My favorite page out of the whole thing. <clears throat> Take a look at him. The black metal I mean the metallics on the black gesso is really nice. Hi Cheryl. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so and that's as far as I got in here. And now that I've been working in kind of the bigger one, this does seem kind of small to me. So let me see if I have my other journals here. Oh. Oh. And I have some books, of course, to show you. 
I have like three different bags here. Where am I going to put this? No, oh, thank you, Mitt. <laughs> All right. I'm going to stick that there. Hopefully that will stay. So, I don't know. I guess I should probably finish it, but in, I haven't done anything in it yet. I just found it, so it took me a while to find. So, so that's my little one. And then, where else do I have? This one, I, the only thing I did in this one was I just um, put some dilutions in here. Let's see that. And this was a page that I did last week. Oops, backwards. Upside down. So, that's the little girl. She looks better now. I kind of made her smile a little bit bigger. I did add some white in this eyeball, but I didn't finish this eyeball. <laughs> So she looks a lot happier now. She's not so sad. And there's our little bird that we did. <laughs> so that was that one. Um, I really don't like... I went to the art store today, not today, yesterday. And um, they sell those big sheets of um, watercolor paper. So I tore it all down. I didn't get a chance to bind it. Because I, um, I did this one a while back. Where I did the same thing and then I added all my lace and then I love these pages because they don't really warp unless I just kind of like wa water washed it or put some paint on it <laughs> thank you Mitzi <laughs> um, oh and this one I put the little window on here you see the little fairy in there uh, thank you Cass and I did most of these with the Lindy spray and then, I really like using the texture place. It's probably my favorite thing to do. And these, I just haven't done anything with these yet. And this is just plain. <laughs> Another, yeah, and this one I added some flowers. I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this page. <laughs> and then I think my last one, I just added the ballerinas. So. You love the window? I like the window too, Yeah. <laughs> But I really like these pages because they don't um, warp like the other one, like the Dilution one. And then on this one, I just put some, um, what do you call it? Um, that's Indigo Blue stamp with the Mega Flakes, the Indigo Blue, um, you know, the Gold Flakes. So that was that one. And then what else? <clears throat> I have... I did get this. <laughs> like the window. I love the window too. I got this. I thought maybe I would like better to do this with mixed media because I do spray a lot of water. Like my pages get really wet. So I think I'm going to try this instead of the dilutions. Um, I mean, I still try to finish it, you know, still put stuff in it, but I think I'm going to like this better. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Sherry. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Kathy. Um, so then I bought these books to... Um, I got these in um, TJ Maxx, actually. And I thought these would be good to jelly plate off of, you know, rub on here. So that's what I got these for. So I got that to show you. And then I'll get my books. Um, I got... One, two, three. Hold on, I'm getting it. So I got this, this, and this, and this. <laughs> um. This one I bought because of all the chipmunks. When I saw that, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to do a page with a chipmunk on it or something. <laughs> so, um, but this one is just drawing nature. You know, cool covers on Timmy's, on Timmy's book. Thank you. So, I just bought this one. I, don't, I really think I don't like drawing in pencil at all. I like drawing in the um, Stabilos, but ugh, I don't like... Uh, yeah, I was shopping. Um, I don't really like drawing in pencil. I don't know if I don't like the um, the graphite on my hands. Something about it I don't like. 
but you know, you know I love fairies, so I love this one. And this is watercolor. So, and this is where I got my tree that I'll show you the tree that I did. But this one, I love the wings on here, the butterfly wings. I love this one with the mushrooms. I have, I like mushrooms too. Um, I'm trying to look for my tree. This has a lot of fairies in it. Here's one of the kind of one of the girls I was trying to draw. You saw that in my other book. This is kind of her. That one there. I'm on air. I'm on air. Tell her refresh. Angel bug to refresh. Um, let's see where my tree is. I'm going to have to look for my other book. Oh, maybe it wasn't in this book. I'm thinking it was in this book, but maybe it isn't. Anyway, so that was one book, the Water, Water Fairy one. And then I love this one, too. I like um, fantasy, I guess you could say. But what I really want to try is this one here. There's one with, um, she's got like blue. The name of this book, this one's called um, Fantasy Fashion Art Studio by Meredith, Meredith Dillman. <laughs> but there's one, oh, this one. I love this picture here. I would love to be able to do that. Oh, now you see me. Hi, Cheryl. <laughs> So, so I like to, um, I like this book. And I love this one with the fairies, with the wings, the butterfly wings. <laughs> um, but the book that I liked, oh, let me show you this one first. And I got this one, the Zentangle. I saw Artie Dar was doing um, a redo on the first one. Which one? The watercolor one? This one? Is this the one, AJ? this one is it has a like I like the way it shows you how to do the hands and the feet you know and the faces I think this was the first book that I I'm trying to see where I thought this was the one I had the tree in here that I did that I showed you guys last week but I don't see it Oh, yeah, here's the one girl that I tried to do. Whoops. <laughs> That's this one? Yeah. I have to get my other book. I hope I brought it up here. My sketchbook. Um, so I did her. And I did her. Let me see if I have my sketchbook up here. Um, <clears throat> I thought I brought it up. Whoops. I lost the accents. Right, hold on. i to move this over a little. So here's another book. Just the front cover done and nothing inside. <laughs> um, Alright, hold on. Too many books. Hi, Paige. <laughs> okay. So. Get this out of the way. Show you that. So here, so here's another book. I love doing the front cover, and then nothing inside, <laughs> just decoration. <laughs> so yeah, I have to stop petting them, as Eileen says. <laughs> so that's that one. And then see, here's this girl. This is oh, I I printed out um, if Dee Dee from Inkwell tomorrow. I think it's tomorrow. We're going to be sketching. She's going to sketch this girl. Thank you. Thank you, Sandy. <laughs> and um, so I printed it out on white, but then um, I also printed it out on the tan. 
This is the tone color little book, but my paper was too small, so then I had to go to this one. So I like to draw whimsical too. So that's tomorrow uh, morning. At Dee Dee will be doing that on her stream, and she's inky inkwell. So that's her. And then see here is where's my girl here? This is the girl. I tried to draw this girl here, and that's her there. You see her? <laughs> and then this was, I think, the, the boy. I think I did the boy in here. Oh, here. Here's this girl. So that's this girl, and I did this one. I still got her eyes way too high. And then, where's the boy? Oh, wasn't that one. Oh yeah, here's the boy. So then I tried to do him. So that was this guy. So that was him. And I did that. <laughs> so. Thank you, Colleen. <laughs> After I, I told Cass, I said, I can't watch your streams on Friday night anymore because I'm too intimidated on Sundays. <laughs> But isn't this cute? Like, I love this with the mushroom and the little girl underneath it. So, I love that. So, this is the watercolor book. And it gives you um, the different, you know, basic watercolor. Like, I like that one. Look at that one. Sitting on the flowers. <laughs> Thanks. Um, this one's pretty, too. So hopefully, you know, I get a little bit better at the faces. Then I'll try some of these. Like, look at those with the dresses. I love that. I love mushrooms, too. Me, too. Isn't that cute? What watercolors did she use? Uh, let's see. Does she say? Uh, I'll put it on this. Well, this is just a theory. I don't know if she specifically says. I'll have to look. Earth tones, brushes, mixed tone. Still, uh, I don't see where she says, but I'll look through it again tonight and then I'll let you guys know. Where did I get this book? Believe it or not, I got this at Joanne Fabrics. <laughs> I had a lot of books from Joann's because they, they use a coupon too. So I was able to get it like 50 off. So, yeah, I'll let you know. But um, I don't see where she says, unless she says in the beginning. I'll look for it though and then I'll let you know. These are the pencils. Pencils. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to let you know. I'll, I will let you know though. So that was that. And then I got this one. And if you watch Dar today, she um, did some Zentangle today. So I really like this one with the alphabet. And I got this one at Joann's. I think the last, these three I got at Joann's. <laughs> but this one is just a Zentangle doodling. Love that one. So. And you just hit the buy button in Amazon. I saw your little cat. Um, sitting in your Amazon box, Eileen. <laughs> so cute. <clears throat> All right, so then there was this one. And maybe this is the one with, oh, I love this girl with the steampunk. Look at, she has a steampunk dress on. Isn't she cute with the red hair? I love that. And that's the one with the wings I showed you. But I really love this. Like, I really would love to paint that one day. <laughs> you just have one the one cat so I'm trying to see so it's just mostly fairies but this book is like if I had to give up all the other books I would have to get this book <clears throat> so let me show you that first this one is called dreamscapes and it's got the angels fairy and mermaids oh my gosh you have to see the mermaids in this book 
two cats. <laughs> um, and this book is by Stephanie, and I can't say that, Puman Law, Puman Law, Stephanie Puman Law. You want me to list my books? <laughs> Uh, I'll have to get them out or maybe I'll put them on my blog and I have to be careful with this one because this one does have some um, now on YouTube it's okay to show everything like to show the whole body because um, oh Miko tweeted somebody um, Willow Willow somebody or other and she um, I mean she had full nudity on her fo photos and everything so it's okay to do that on YouTube but not on Ustream does anybody know <laughs> So here's one of the mermaids here. Um, I just have to be careful because. And then see how it shows you how to draw the fairies here. But. And you know how we love Dee Dee's angel fish, right? And there it shows you how to do butterfly wings. There, butterfly wings. Well, I love the mermaids. And here's another one in the back. See the clothes up there? <laughs> and I love like, I love old trees too. So you see this one, it's got a tree, but it has, also has a girl like on it. See her face in there? Isn't that cool? So I do it like this. So I want to just show you, I just got to make sure I don't get the right, the wrong picture. <laughs> first um this one's okay so then it shows you how to draw the mermaids and you know i love to do the mermaids i've done that with clay and stuff oh youstream will shut me down but then it's okay to do it on youtube oh youtube it is huh i didn't know that yeah see like this one i can't show you at all unless i put a post-it note on it hold on so this one let me just a little piece here like she combines the fish with the mermaid isn't that cool oh my gosh I love that Ikea I love I want to do these I love to do mermaids anyway but this one's my favorite oh my gosh I wish Dee Dee would show us how to do angel fish again look at this one can you see that? Oh my gosh, I love this one. I did try to do this one, so let me show you. In my book. So, I'll show you what I did. You've seen that, that was last week. That was like, so this week I did, so see here's my tree, which I love. With old man tree, like a hobble tree, whatever. <laughs> So, um, I colored, I started coloring my little butterfly hummingbird. So there, I started coloring the wings. And then this was the first girl I did after last week. I tweeted that picture. This cheek is just looks like she's got a, a toothache. <laughs> if I just take away that, that cheek a little bit, it would be not too bad. But I really think I like drawing with these colored pencils more than um, just regular pencils. I don't like pencils, I don't think. Here's my doodling. I did my first doodling page. Oh, thank you, Sandy. <laughs> I love the tree. It was funny because, like, for three weeks I went to a place where... You know, you go for like two hours and everybody draws their own thing and, you know, he comes around and he just looks at it. And, you know, I thought it was like a real, oh, what do you say? A real, um, not like a real art class, but I thought it was more instructional type thing. And it really wasn't. You were just there, you did your own thing, and that was it. So, when I first did this girl, I think I did, I forget if I did, it wasn't really her. Was it her? I think it was her. I first did her. And then I did her. And then, so that was the first week. And so then the second week, because it was only a three-week thing, because I came in there late. So when I said to him, I said, oh, I think I'm going to draw this tree. 
and he's like you are like he almost act like I couldn't do it or something it was like yeah I'm gonna I could do that he goes oh okay and then he walked by and he looked and just kept walking by and he goes hmm hmm that's all I kept saying <laughs> and then when I told him I said oh I think I'm gonna draw this lizard but make it into a dragon and he's like make it into a dragon I'm like yeah and then he just kept walking by and there was a guy who was doing a airplane he was really good he's like oh my gosh I love your lizard and he wouldn't say anything <laughs> hi JJ <laughs> oh that's okay um so then uh where was I so then I did so that was so that was my first girl then I did some zentangling or doodling whatever you want to call it then this girl I drew like she was you know with her head down this is not too bad but that's all pencil and it's like I I don't think I like pencil at all <laughs> he would have made you mad as an instructor he did because you know he didn't say like well that was really good or you know like he didn't really give any criticism he would just go by hmm like that you know I was like what am I doing in this class it never fails whenever I go to an art class it's like I never get the right teacher I either get somebody who just yells at me or someone like that just walks by and doesn't say anything <laughs> oh my gosh and so then this girl I did she looks to me like an alien <laughs> you would have some choice words from Colleen <laughs> And it was the kind that you had to, I asked the guy, I said, you know, is it instructional? You know, do they show you, tell you what to do, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, yeah, he's really nice, you know. And, you, of course, you have to pay up front. And it was like, you weren't getting your money back. So it was like, oh, I'll go for the three weeks and see what happens. <laughs> um, oh, do you learn here for gay when I, I guess, I don't know, a couple months ago or whenever I was talking about drawing and when I was in school, grade school, I had a teacher, her name was Batkins, and I had to draw a clown with um, with the feet, like, sticking out sideways, and, you know, like, he waddled, like, um, Charlie Chaplin, and she just got up so close to my face, and I could, I probably was, like, 10 or 9, you know, and she screamed at me in front of the whole class, and, of course, I was crying, and that's what I mean, I just never get a good art teacher, <laughs> and I didn't pick up a pencil for a long time after that because of her. So, yeah. $200 for 10 minutes? Wow. That's not worth it. No. No. So, anyway, so this was my other girl. So, she looks kind of like alien-ish. And I think I wanted to put some eyelashes on her, but I didn't. So, then, what else did I do this week? Oh, so here was the girl that I tried to draw. I mean, so this is her. And it's hard to see because it's in pencil. And this is my drawing. <laughs> oh, come on, Brenda. Refresh. <laughs> so, it's not too bad. Of course, it probably would look a lot better if I colored it in. But, um... And I don't... Uh, her face isn't too bad. I just don't like her nose, I don't think. Her nose is okay. You're refreshing? Okay, Brenda, good. <laughs> and then I tried to do the little angel fish, too. But I would like to do this a little bit more. I want to practice and then actually do one like this in my journal. So I think that, oh, and then, so then I got brave and I freehanded. I didn't use the stamps and I did my own girl. So this was my hand-drawn girl. I really like her mouth. I think her mouth is good on this one. <laughs> thanks, thanks. <laughs> And then the last one I did, I was trying to do kind of like a mermaid-ish type girl. And I just don't like this side of her face. I had, I should have left her lips alone because I really liked her lips before. Of course, then I erased it and now I don't like it. So, I just don't like this side of her mouth. If I think if I can get rid of that, she doesn't look too bad. <laughs> it's working now, Brenda. Good. I was just showing them my mermaid book. It's a fish with a mermaid. And then I try to do it myself. So this was the one that I did. That kind of looks like it. The tail needs to be a lot longer. Like this one. But oh my gosh, isn't that nice? So that was all I did this week, scribbling. Well, let me see what else they have here. I think she has a couple more, like, fish. I just have to be careful. Um...
This one's pretty too with the mermaid on the um, with the shell. <laughs> Thanks. Um, that one's pretty too. There it is. Isn't it pretty? Oh, I love this book. Probably my one of my favorite books. So I'm trying. To, and then this is the angels. So it also has the angel wings. <laughs> Thank you, Brenda. <laughs> I thought there was another mermaid fish. Let me see if there's another angel. And this is the guy angel here. Thank you, Kia. <laughs> my eraser is my friend. Thanks, Kathy. <laughs> um, I guess that's it. But I thought there was another one with the fish. Let me see. It's just because she does do um, them kind of nudie on the top, so... Yeah, I showed that one. That was the shark, the mermaid, and the fins. I love that. I love how she did the fish with them. Oh, here we go. This one's not too bad. Look at that one. You see? With the mermaids and the merman. There's that one, and then there's this one. I love that one, the angelfish and mermaid. <laughs> So hopefully with more practice I can do one of those. I think I think that's it. Yeah. So basically, but this book I love. <laughs> so. And then all the mushrooms. I love the mushrooms. See the mushrooms down there? Thank you. So I think that's all I had to show you with the books. Let me see. That's that one, that one. Yep, that's all of them. And then I was at um, Target, and in the kids section, I thought this wasn't bad. You got 20 sheets, 20 sheets of cold press, 140 pound water paper. So that's in Target in the kids section. Thank okay, you. Cool. So I didn't think that was bad. 20 sheets for 140. So I did, um, I did, um, do my PBOs. I did get my PBOs and I did. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Colleen. <laughs> so I got some Liquitech basics and then these are the PBOs. I love the way they shine. You see the way they shine there? So I swatched them all out. So I'll be ready for the jelly plate. <laughs> Sewing is cool on the paper, on this paper here, on the kids paper. I bet you it is. Yeah, the mushrooms are cool. I love the mushrooms. So, tonight I thought since, where's my delusion book? So I think I'm going to make my books like this from now on because I just don't like the warping and the delusions. And then I have to bind it all, so I have to do that. So that's for that book. So now where is my delusion book? Um... I put it where did it go? Oh, here it is. So I think I don't like the way that this paper like warps, like buckles. And then I why is it that it's half half of it is like good paper and then half of it is like thin paper? Like this is really thin. And then this is really thick. I know that's how she makes her books, but does that mean that you're only supposed to sketch on these? Sketch on these and then just um, paint on these? Your sketchbook is full of mushrooms? <laughs> I like mushrooms. <laughs> so, I want to save this for my mermaid page. I think I'm going to put a mermaid on here. So, and this is what I'm saying, like, I drenched it. I mean, it was just sopping wet. And so you could see it, like, bleed through everything. So I was thinking we would put this together. And I'm thinking that maybe I'm going to tonight um, make an owl oh, with a branch. So I did already. So some of you have seen this already. I, what I do is I take the paper towel and then I twist it around to make a tree. So I think that's what we're going to do tonight. We're going to um, make a tree, and then I'm going to put an owl probably on the tree. Because I was out for spring, and all our trees are blooming here. So I think that's what we're going to do tonight. I just can't bring myself to do a face. <laughs> mm. 
Oh my gosh, you guys have to see, if you miss Kathy's Johnny Depp, you have to see it. The white paper is watercolor. Thank you, Kathy. So then what's the other paper? What's this paper then? The white paper and the dilutions, yeah, it bleeds through. Hmm. So are you supposed to glue two page, pages together then? I think you are, right? So why don't I do that? So let's see. I could see how it bleeds right through here. I put a. I have used a lot of water. So this one's already glued. So let me just glue this page together. Oh. The Manila one, yeah. What is the Manila, Manila one for? Dana says hello. Oh, let me put low well, links. Hold on a second. <laughs> I don't allow links here. There you go, JJ. You were censored. Do it again. Hi, Dana. <laughs> She's waving back. Hi, Dana. <laughs> so, um, somebody said if you use the yes paste, that doesn't um, buckle the pages much. I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's what I'll do. Oh, if I can open it. So, let's do that. I hope I don't break this because this is not like metal or anything. How you did a Zen Tangle thing today? Dar was on earlier. It was really good. I had to go make supper though. I couldn't stay for the whole thing. So Dar's thinking about going to the um, retreat, and I think Patty said there's like 15 or 17 people right now, so it's getting close. So if you're on the fence, you should probably do it because they have to make a decision. I think by next Friday whether or not they're going to go ahead with it or not. You like to draw on the manila? Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, okay, hold on a second. There we go. You just got back from dinner out? You just missed all the mermaid. I'll have to go over real quick and show you all the mermaid stuff I showed. Dar loves mermaids too. So I just want to make sure I get the ends. I have a canvas that Dar made me with. It's in my family room with mermaid on it. You need the date. The date's July 8th through the 11th. Okay, so let's put that away. I'll put that in water. Yeah, July 8th to the 11th. And they really need to have everybody sign up. I think they can only get, I think they need like 20 or 25 people. In order to have it so and I think they said even if they if they don't get enough people that they're going to do it <laughs> a credit card yeah I should I probably have one around here somewhere um, so oh I glued the wrong page <laughs> darn it I was supposed to put the glue on this page this one oh well <laughs> darn uh, Darn it, now I'm going to have like three pages on here. Let's see if I can take that off later. Ugh. And that's what happens when you don't pay attention. Yeah, I was showing them the mermaid book. Let me see if I have it. I can show you real quick. Um, that's not it. There it is. Oops. 
I'll just show you the fish. I can show you this one. Look, Dar. Look at that. The mermaid with the fish. Isn't that pretty? Oh, my gosh. You have an art show? Where's your art show? There's that one, and then there's this one with the fish. The mermaid. Isn't that cool? And it has angels, too. This is angels, fairies, and mermaids. I know Dara's making some nice jewelry. I love the seahorse with the sea glass. That was really pretty. All right. So, darn. I wish I wouldn't have put that on that glue. I'm going to have to take this off. Oh, well. All right. There we go. All right. So, now I think I'm going to here you have that book really <laughs> it's really nice oh my gosh I'm trying to um, get better at it so that I can draw all right I'm gonna put this down Let's see what I have here I think I'm just gonna break this since I got my um, I'm gonna have my tree over here I think I'm going to just break this I'm not gonna worry about putting it all the way around so there Uh, the art show at Cape May. When is it? Oh, it's in July, too. All right, so I guess I can just put this down with some gel medium. Yeah. Or some gesso. Where is my gesso? Oops, there goes my flowers. <laughs> All right, let me see if I do have a credit card up here that I can just slap this on. Oh, here I have this. Everything's falling. <laughs> I, I really put a tape down the middle. Even if I put this down, I should put tape down the middle. I don't know if I have any tape. I have some green washi tape. I have some of this. All right, I'll put this down the middle. You need to get the date? Okay. Just if you're gonna do it, they have to they really need to know by I think May 30 May 1st, I think. Okay. I really should use a brush, I think. Don't you think a brush? Where is my brush? Oh, I still have some pink on this one. And I probably should put some type of paper on this other one. I'll we'll have to move you out, I think. Let me just put this down and then I'll move you guys out. depends on how wet you're going to do it yeah I usually I don't know why I, it just seems that my pages are really wet I do put a lot of water on my pages I should have tweeted, um, all right, I'm going to put a little bit of water in here, a paper towel. It's a good idea to tape it. 
Yeah, because I am just like... Put some water in here. You can come? Oh, that's good. <laughs> the art show is when? Oh, the July 26th. I'm going to put most of my paper towel on this side anyway, so it doesn't, this side doesn't matter too much. I see I didn't, I didn't quite get it under there. I don't want to ruin this page so I want to make sure um, I put something there so let's see what I can put here that I have I guess I'll put it on both pages and then I'll I'll zoom you guys out I'm going dark going with my girlfriend June I don't know if you know June let me move you out a little we could we could probably go down and meet you guys there there we go somebody have the link does anybody have the link so that she can sign up I don't know I don't see Carrie here or who else who else would have it Colleen do you have it or maybe Eileen maybe you have it I don't know who else would be. I don't know if it's on Paul's blog. It might be on her blog, maybe. Or Patty's. Patty have a blog? Okay. The heat gun. No, sorry, okay. You don't need Eileen? <laughs> Hey, thank you, Vicki. Yes, turn it back on. <laughs> turn it back on. All right, so I need to push some of this stuff out. So I think we'll use this. I'm going to get rid of this. And this. So I can move it up there a little bit. Move this out of the way. And this. There we go. So I'm just going to do blue sky, I think. I have some blue. Oh, did I bring my green up? Green. 
course this isn't open there it is thank you very much there you go dar I'll trim that later. Mm, pretty, isn't it? It said no on bananas. What does that mean? <laughs> no on bananas. You love the tissue paper? Me too. It just kind of just like already puts it to the background, doesn't it? Let's see, maybe we get some clouds in here. Try that. He's gone. Hurry, oh, he's gone. It adds a lot to the background and then you can white it out as much as you want so now for my um, when I do the paper towels and it, it would have been like a, a half hour to do them so I did them earlier so what I do is this is the two ply so these it comes like this they come like this two ply and then what I do is I spray them with any old um, brown. I used um, some cold, um, not cold wash, um, color wash. I used uh, an espresso, and then I used um, terracotta. Then I used Illusions Brown, and then I did um, uh, Tattered Angels Chocolate Cherries. So that kind of gives it the sparkle. You'll see it has some a little bit of, of sparkle in it. But it has to be really, really completely dry. Um, before we could start twisting it and then I peel it apart and then I go and I squirt the inside as well so and I love doing this for like um, any tree really I look for palm trees um, trees for Halloween um, it's just really pretty oh there she is Patty yeah they're asking for the link so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put my um, my tree over on this side here like this and we need a glue stick Let's see if I can find my glue stick mm. oh glue stick I need glue stick 
There we go. And then I took some pictures of some trees today because I really, I really want to make sure I get the branches right. So let me see what I, what I have here. So I took some pictures of the trees just so I could see how I want to put my branch. Because I wanted to come down like here and then put the owl over here. And then we'll write something about spring. So I'm going to use that as my reference. Oops. Oh, what happened? There it goes. And then so what I do is I start to... Put some glue in here <laughs> yeah they do look like leather right yep it's just sprayed with some color wash and um, chocolate cherries tattered angels um, so I want my branch to come out and I want the tree here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and then I just start folding it in and then I just kind of start just twisting it and then I kind of do it on a slant, so make sure I can get this the way I want. And then I add glue along the way. So to hold it all in here. And I want to see, oh, my paint's not quite dry. So I do want to get, you know, an old tree. So I kind of want to get the wrinkles in here. So something like this. And then I just keep twisting it. So I'm going to put this down here. Kind of like the tree trunk. And then I just kind of mold it as I go along. And then I just put some glue in between to hold the little wrinkles. And then I want this tree to be kind of, can you see? Kind of wide here at the bottom. But I still want the wrinkles in there. And then I'll put glue in between here to hold them in there like that. You got it now, dark? Good. So that looks pretty good like that. I'm going to put a little bit more glue in here. And then I just cut it off at the bottom here. <coughs> And I'm going to put another branch. Let's see where my tree is here. So this tree goes up and then it comes, it bears like this. So I want my owl sitting here. So I'm going to take another one. I'm going to break this one in half. And then I really want one with a lot of sparkles. So let me get one that's kind of got a lot of sparkle in there. So again, I'm just going to start twisting it. I'm going to lay some glue down and then twist it. Put a little bit more glue. And I want this branch to come off of here. So I'm just going to do some more twisting. And then it's just a matter of how you want to, how thick you want your branches. So, and what's nice about the paper towel, it'll stay flat so it won't have too much bulk. So I'm going to put this one up here like this. 
and then I'll have my owl perched on. Perched on here. I want this kind of flat where where that where it's gonna fold. Hi Annette, how are you? <laughs> Kind of make that kind of skinny and then we can put our owl right in there and then i think maybe we need to just continue our tree up here <coughs> so i'm going to put another another tree another branch so i'm going to start it here i don't know if i'll need this whole thing we'll see I think I'll start it down in here. Oops. The phone's in the way there. <laughs> Thank you, Colleen. Yep, one day I was um, spraying and it was all brown and I was twisting it. And I was like, oh my gosh, this makes such a cool tree. So, I'm going to put just a little bit down in here. Make our tree a little bit thicker. And I'm sure I'm not the first one to think of that, I'm sure. <laughs> But I love all the wrinkles, so it looks like kind of an old tree. <laughs> There's a net. And I think I'm going to put it so it's kind of like still part of the old tree in here. So, so then you just have to glue in between the little wrinkles so that it'll stay. And then anywhere that it lifts up, then I just go back with the glue. I just want to make sure here where it, it bends, it's not too thick. I might just have to tear just a little bit off. everyone coming in if anybody I missed we're just doing a little tree tonight um, with a little owl on there so that's pretty much it so see how nice it looks like a tree I just love the way it looks and then it's all nice and sparkly it's got some little glitter on there you love my Humpty Dumpty thank you <laughs> thank you Annette I liked it too oh my gosh it was it came out really good and it was really nice once we put the mic and stuff on there right so now we need our little owl and I'm going to when I did my owl for this one where's my book you see my book <laughs> I'm hoping oh no <laughs> shoot I just dropped my book in the water <laughs> darn it um, I'm hoping that these eyes won't be too big for this owl. Shoot. <laughs> ah. Oh, bunny. I just dropped your little pad in the water. Look at that. Ah, oh, ruined. <laughs> ruined. So I'm going to cut these eyes out. Where'd my little book go now? Do you see it anywhere? <laughs> so I'm going to cut these eyes out. Let me 
You love the tree? <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, I like doing the tree. And you can squish it down. Like, I mean, I put a lot on the paper towel. I probably could have taken some out. Um, like when I did it on the layout, I did it like a lot, a lot thinner. <laughs> um, see when I did this and I rolled it, you can see it's not really too much. It comes out even with this. It's not, it's not really puffy. It's not too bad. So I just haven't put my picture in here yet, <laughs> but I love the way it looks like an old tree. Can you see the way that is? That's bad news. I know. I dropped my whole book in the water. <laughs> Darn it. Um, but now I'm looking for my other little book. Where did it go? So I could show you guys. <laughs> Where is it? I'm just like squished in here. <laughs> oh, bunny. <laughs> bunny, your poor little book. <laughs> Maybe it'll turn up. What do I do with it? I wanted to show you the little white owl, but you saw it before. Anyway, so we're going to do our little owl on here with our little owl eyes. And I'm looking for some... Hi, Jeannie! <laughs> You'll send me a new one? <laughs> Thank you! Oh my gosh, it's just like soaked. I don't think I could save it. <laughs> Look at it. It's all soaking wet. This was a book Bunny made me. What? <laughs> oh, look at it. Look how nice it was. It's drenched now. Uh. All right. So now I want to get out some texture paste. And I'm trying to think of what I want to do. We're going to make him a little white owl and then color him. Or if I should get some brown mulberry paper. Um and put them on here. <laughs> All right. Only problem is I can't get to the other side where my mulberry paper is. So let's see. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I want to make him some um, like eyelids if you want to call it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this and make some round round eyelids and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just slit this so do you see I have like little darts like I cut it open so I'm going to put one here and one there. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bend these so that I can glue them down and make them look like he has like little puffy eyelid, eye, eye lids. <laughs> so they're going to go like this. And then I need some pop dots. So they're going to go just like that. And then we need a little, I need a little brown piece for his, <coughs> his nose. So I'm just going to cut a little piece of this off. <coughs> and then I'm going to twist this around and make like his little beak. So I need some glue. Owl. <laughs> he 
does look a little sleepy. So what I'm going to do is glue this together. Just like that. So there we go, like that. I do need to get some mulberry paper though. I want to put some... I want to get to his chest and then like his wings. So like he's like looking at us. So... Let me get, I'm looking for this. So I think I'm going to fan him out and then probably use some, um, <laughs> thank you. Uh, I'm going to use, this actually is pretty good right here. Probably use some chalk. I'm going to put this down first, I think, and then I'm going to put these down and then cover that with fur like that. And then I think maybe I just need to make them all white and then we could color them. So, all right, so I'm going to put his face down first. So let's get some glue. Keep changing my mind. I'll put some glue down. And then I'll put his eyes right here. And then we're going to glue these down. I'm going to put some glue on here. And then I have to get some pop dots, I think. Where are my pop dots? Move this over. Oops. Almost spilled my bowl of ice cream. <laughs> Am I recording? Yes, I'm recording. <laughs> so I'm going to add these little pop dots on the back here. And then we'll cover the front part with some mulberry paper. Hey, you're welcome. Hi, Ash. <laughs> so... I'm going to put this over here like this, curve these in. And then take this one off and curve this one in. Whoops, this one's showing a little bit. I need to cut that off. And I'm going to have to clean my hands because my hands are getting like, ugh. So there we are. You look cute. that and we need a little body I really need some more mulberry paper I don't know if I can get his body out of here and his wing all right I'm gonna have to move some stuff so I can get some mulberry paper because I just I don't have enough so hold on 
I gotta move all my stuff, darn. Hold on. <laughs> gotta move it. You know what? Maybe I'll add some of this cheesecloth on for his wings. Let's see. We can cut these for his wings. We can use that for his wings. And I just got to get another little piece of mulberry. Whoops, paper. <laughs> Too much stuff hanging around. I have that. I wonder if I can just use these little pieces. So I don't have to go all the way across the room. I want to put some gesso in here, I think. I need a stencil. We'll put some white gesso on his tummy. And then... I need, I need a stencil. Oh my gosh, that girl did not put the heat on. Well done, I'm looking for something. I need, I really want like a zigzag stencil. Do it! I'm trying, Bunny. I'm looking for a stencil. <laughs> I'm looking for my one stencil I want. Just hold on. Hold on. Ugh. As many stencils as I have up here, of course I don't have the one I want. I don't have the one I want. Alright, well, I don't have it. So, we're just going to add some gesso on here. It's just too hard to get out, and it's like across the room. <laughs> it's too hard. So, I'm going to add some white gesso. Hi, Diane! <laughs> so, I'm going to make a little body here. White body. And then we can decide if we're going to color it later. Aw, doesn't he look cute? <laughs> Hi, Diane. <laughs> It looks cute. Can I get the heat gun? Oh, I know. I have that right there. I can use. Hold on. Heat gun. How come you're excited? <laughs> oh, happy mail's coming. There you go. <laughs> All right. Now I want to put something on his chest. So I think I have the stencil I want in here. We could use that one. I really wanted like a zigzag one. Maybe we'll use that. Let's use that one. <laughs> What'd you get, Diane? Did you win something from Kathy? 
So we use that. That kind of looks like feathers, doesn't it? I don't know what he calls it. Tracks. <laughs> I'm going to put some white gesso on here. And then I'm going to cover it with some white paint. There's some white paint. Texture paste. Texture paste. Oh. Texture paste. Texture paste. I'm gonna have to open up this one. Brought my other one downstairs, so I'll have to open up this one. You're all you're exchanging pocket letters. That's nice. <laughs> Hey, I heard from my secret sister. She sent me an email and she really loved it. So, my secret sister was Kat. I don't think she's here. Um, she doesn't always come um, to all the shows. So. So, what I want to do is put this down on his chest. Let's be cute on there. to show you Jean what I got you guys will have to help me I think maybe next week I'm gonna try to do this look Jean I got the small one <laughs> to start off with <laughs> they look like feathers yep they do so I'm gonna dry that and then I'm gonna put some um, cheesecloth for his heat gun Let's cover his eyes. We need to cover the this part of his eye here. That. And I don't think that's big enough. <laughs> he looks cute. We have his nose. So let's put that on. Oh my gosh, my daughter has the heat on and it's like boiling up here. on here I don't want to put his nose on yet because I'm gonna to have to paint this I think white <laughs> and I think I'm gonna put some cheesecloth for his wings I think I'm just going to keep him white since we have the trees already dark. So we'll make him a white owl. Probably too much. I'm going to cut this one in half. And I have to be careful with that spine there. So... Could probably moved him over a little bit. 
I'm like it, it's just a little bit shorter. I know that's my daughter she's always cold and so I think she's taking a shower and she's got darn heat on I can just kill her <laughs> I have to tell my husband <laughs> turn the heat off <laughs> oh my gosh hold on so that'll look cute right we'll put the little wings on there this one needs to be cut down just a little bit. And what I want to do is I want to paint this um, so I have some white paint. Oops. Which fell. JJ <laughs> thanks anybody coming in sharing your Sunday with me I didn't know that uh, Laura is on the same time as me so hopefully I thought she was on towards the afternoon so I hope um, I hope this is not her usual time all right so I have this I want to paint his little tummy, get him a little bit whiter than what he is. Kind of like sparkly. <laughs> uh oh, what's the matter with the net? What happened to Annette? I missed it. It's scary. What's scary? Oh no. <laughs> We're happy to see you too, Di. She's been doing her her art like every day. It's so nice to see. If you guys don't follow Di, Packer Die on Twitter. She's always showing her art. She did a nice cover today in her, her first page, right? In your journal. So there we are. So we have our tummy all done. <laughs> it's cute. Cute, cute, cute. And I think I'm just going to do this just so when the cheesecloth goes on there be able to see him a little bit <laughs> you're finishing your niece's alphabet the Disney book that's nice <laughs> yes you did the cover in two pages I only saw the one page the cover was really cute <laughs> in your new collage journal very nice all right so that's that so we have to heat dry this I'm not used to this heat gun and it like bubbles up. There it goes again. <laughs> Shoot. Oh, you have Windows 8, so do I. <laughs> All right. So now we can go ahead and put our wings down. Isn't that cute? So let's put it down with, um, if I have any fabric glue up here. Let's see. 
yeah what is this I could put it down with some gel medium I guess I could looks like a little <laughs> a little spy owl <laughs> he's cute <laughs> and then I'll put one late, later on I'll put some glossy accents on him oh I can have such a hard time opening up these jars oh. I can't open that one oh, I'll just put it down with some of this no that's not gonna work I need some paste here here's some light paste we'll do this this is the only one I can open. <laughs> um, I'll put it down with the... Display. Did you use your iPhone to record the process? Or webcam? Who's that? <laughs> Who are you talking to, Sherry Packer Dye? Alright, so I'm going to put just take a little bit of this light paste and then stick this down in here. So we can get it all squished in there. He's a spy owl. <laughs> We have a little owl. We actually we have a woodpecker in the morning, and then we have um, a little owl that um, is out in the back. So let's stick this down. I should have moved him over just a little bit. He's kind of close to the spine here, so we'll see how it goes. There. He's cute with his little wings. <laughs> oh, he looks like Hagrid, yeah, from Harry Potter. <laughs> I love that movie. Alright, now we can put down the nose. So I can put that down with some glue stick. nose is a little pointy a little bit big I may have to squish it up a little <laughs> he's cute really cute so what else is he missing we have his wings maybe we need to put some feet on him let's see if I cut some, some paper towel Oh no, don't do that. Let's make some little feet for him. So I'm going to do is take this and then I'm going to like put the, I'm going to put it together at the top here. So I'm going to twist it a lot for his little stick leg. And then I'm going to tear these into like three little legs. So see, kind of like a broomstick. Let's see if I can see that. And then I'm going to twist each one up. Put a little glue on there. And twist each one. I'll make these his little, his little legs. You see? Can't get this one a twirl. Bye, Patty. Okay. <laughs> so.
so I'm gonna just make his legs a little shorter like this and I actually want to come over over the the branch there there's one little foot I'll have to hold it up close when I get closer um, I'm just trying to pick like the really black part of the the paper towel so I just cut like a little triangle and then I'm just going to twirl it at the top and then I cut this part into three pieces for his little legs <laughs> you threw out lots of stuff today why why Jean So I'm going to twist this one up again. Twist these up. Close that together. That's going to go over him like that. And then we'll put this on. One there, one there, one there. There we go. <laughs> it's cute. Kind of almost needs like, you know how they have like these like straight things? I don't know what you want to call them. Like his little ears doesn't really have ears though let me see what I have here maybe behind his behind his head like I think he just needs like a little something like his his head needs to be a little bit wider or something <laughs> no, that doesn't look good <laughs> right there just needs to be a little rounder you thought you're repurposing in the garbage you sound like my girlfriend my girlfriend does that all the time I always tell her to like donate it to a school or something at least she just throws it right in the garbage <laughs> all right so I just want his head to be a little more fluffy like Is like like his head for it is too big I think <laughs> but he looks cute so let me see if I can hold him up for you there he is <laughs> you see how he's sparkly his chest is like his head too much like what can we do with his head I need to see what I can do here almost looks like he has a hat or something on <laughs> there 
as cute as me. <laughs> cute. All right, so what else can we put on this page? I wish I wanted to do what my other book. Should we leave them white or should I brown them up a little? Let me see what else I have here. I have some chalk. Um, hold on a second. We could chalk him just a little bit. What he needs is more white around his, I don't know, let's see. I'm going to put just a little brown on his chest here and there. You know how they are? You can't really see it from there. I'll have to show it to you. It's got a little bit of brown under. I think I need just a little brown on his eyes. Maybe just a little. what he needed. He just needed a little brown on him. <laughs> just a little bit. <laughs> you can peel the glue while you watch. <laughs> Feel glue. Hi, Martha. <laughs> All right, so I think he has enough little little bits on him. What did I do with my rubber band now? What else shall we do? I don't know what else to do with them right now. So we have that. We have some blue on him. I have to trim this all off. Oh, let's see. Cut out tape. I was using uh, ATG and I had to use glue. Oh no. What else could we put on here? I don't know what else to do. I think I have a little stencil. We could put a couple of bees or something like that. I just want to make sure he's not too... It's good. Not too bad. I remember we'll put some... Um... I have some butterflies. We could add some leaves on the tree. I'm looking for my little bee. I love the I love this one too. The little um, what do you call those things? Whirly things. looking for my I have one with a B on it somewhere I have some of these butterflies I'm looking for where is my stencil oh, 
This was the one I was looking for. I wanted to put on his chest. Now I find it. <laughs> oh, this is the one. I love that one. We'll put that on the one side. The round stencil. It's kind of like a moon with the butterfly in it. That would be cool. Let's do that. put some texture paste and I have my knife so if we put him here it does look like a moon so we'll add that one here There we go. Oh, that looks good. We'll put a couple more circles on there. Let's see if I have another stencil with that. <laughs> Look for a couple more circles that we could stick in here. I think I have a little one. Oh, I could have put this too, like the face of the moon or something. So, let's put some of this. And then I have... The moon. I have a star. We could add this. I have butterfly. Not the eye. You like the face? Yeah, but we can't put the face on there. How are we going to put the face on now? Unless I put them up here. Uh, let's see. Where is the face? Maybe the face down there. And we could add another circle. The heart. I love the heart, too. The hand. The kitty cat. <laughs> Swirls, kitty cat, swirls. All right, let's see. I really want one of those. Let me see what other one I have here. I think I have one that looks like, like a coffee skin. <laughs> Scrape off the butterfly? <laughs> ah, you need a store. I do need a storage fan. I'm thinking about, I have one of those clip it ups, but I don't want to put it on a clip. I need one of those ones that have like a hook so you could just like hook them up and put them on. Or do you mean, like, should I put it, like, in a binder? I think, though, in a binder, I won't be able to find them. And I'm thinking for the jelly plates, how do you do it, then? Do you just put them on the clip-it-up like that? Or do you keep it in a folder? Here, I'll let this one. Behind the tree. Put this one behind the tree. In here. We could do that. Like these, I just keep in, a, um, like Tim's, I just keep in one of these hook things, like that. But I don't know what to do with all my other ones. Like, these are easier to put back in and out. But like these little, these little ones, like here, like you, def like you can't, unless I slip them like in a, 
in a pocket, but there's like really nothing, nothing I do. Take them out, take them out of the binder. I'm going to put it in. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, using like the binder clips, but um, somebody said it's a pain clipping them on and off. So if you had one of those hooks, um, you know, like they hook on, um, oh, what do you call that? You know, when they're like displaying them, you know, you would just put it on a hook like that. The binder gets too heavy. Yeah, I don't believe it. All right, so you think we should put the face? If I scrape off, I think I should scrape off the butterfly and stick the face in there. I could scrape off the butterfly and do that. Should we do that? Let me scrape it off. <laughs> and then we'll stick the butter. We'll stick him in here. All right. Let me make sure I have this nice and flat so that I can put it in there. Hi, Dar. You're censored. Why she shouldn't be censored? I allowed links. Why are you censored? Okay, so I want to make sure it's nice and flat, and then we'll stick that down. You just, that's what that. That's what I have. I have the metal. Um. Sh oh, look, I got blue on here. Um. And then we'll have to spray some yellow or something on here. I get some blue paint or something on here. A piece of hair. Oh, that'll look cool on there, won't it? I'm curing up on him. Make sure I have enough. Right, and I'm just going to lift this up. I can lift it up. That looks cool. <laughs> All right, so we'll have to try that. Oh, we have an ad. All right, so let's try that. <laughs> that looks cute. Be <laughs> done. Perfect, isn't it? It's just like, just perfect for that. <laughs> the face is perfect for that. All right, so should we put a couple more circles? I'm gonna put a, I think I want a couple more circles. I'm gonna put some of these on here. <laughs> the face, it does look like a moon, doesn't it? <laughs> really cute. I'm gonna have to spray some yellow or something on there. If I have a yellow spray. Um, I just wanna put a couple of these coffee things on here. Limited space. That's what I have. Limited space. It's like I'm like jammed in here. <laughs> I have a squeaky chair. I gotta get my husband to put some oil on here.
There. <laughs> What's well, she wants a oh no <laughs> a horn Don that's what I was thinking he needed <laughs> he needs like you know how some of the owls have like um they look like their eyebrows are like really wispy that's what I was thinking he needed <laughs> oh, you can't see down here. I think I'll put one more maybe behind here. I don't know if I can get it nice and flat though. That's a problem. Ears? Do you think he needs ears? <laughs> he needs something on his head. I don't know what it is though. need a, like a credit card. I, I have some downstairs. I don't have any up here though. I like these little dots. There we go. I think we have enough on there now. <laughs> enough. And then what, how will she do? Just should I spray them like yellow, like this, the moon, or leave it white? What do you think? <laughs> oh, she got the owl. There it is. <laughs> ears, ears, ears. It needs ears. At least ears. Whoops. <laughs> he needs like pointy ears, you mean? Like pointy? It's heat gun. Shimmer yellow or moon or twinkling H2O's. Hmm. Lumineer. I don't know if I have any Lumineer. I might have. Let me see. What do I have? How about just some. How about some mica powder? Should do that. I have some. Let's see what other thing I have around here. Lumineers. I don't have any Lumineers. The only thing I have yellow that I have yellow would be close to that would be like this, like this coppery. Make the moon sparkle. So if I put some of this on there, you think that's good? This is gold. I put gold on there. I need a brush. A brush. I'm looking for one of my brushes. Oh, I think that's what this was, wasn't it? No. I need a, um, I need like a Perfect Pearls, like a makeup brush. You know what I mean? I don't know if I have any. Or chalk it. I think I'm going to use this, the mica thing on it. I'm just looking for like a little, um, oh, I had them here last night, the powder, like a powdered brush. I could just 
use, I guess I could just use like a regular brush. If I get one of those, maybe I can use the stencil. Some kind of gold. Oh, how about if I used um, like an ink of gold? Do I have that up here? Well, this is mica, so I'm going to go with that. I'm just looking for a brush that I can use on it. Oh, hold on, I got to get a brush. This is not really the right brush, but it'll do. I don't want this to go all over. I have to open this first. Oh, I can see it's already coming out. I don't have it. I wish I don't have any twinkling H2O's. Ugh. And this gold is going like all over. All over the place. How's that? This will be, this will work. <laughs> stickles? Yeah, I have some stickles. What kind of stickles? Like a diamond crystal stickles? Stickles? <laughs> Is that what I said? Stickles? <laughs> Should I do all the circles or just this one? There, how's that look? <laughs> Should I do them all? I think I need to do this one at least. Gold too. How's that look? You just think the outer ring. Oh, just the outer ring and stickles. Yes, I could do that. I need to sing. Oh, I need to sing. Stickles? <laughs> I can't sing. <laughs> Is that what you do, Happy Diana? I do not. I do not sing. You want me to sing like that? I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> I cannot sing. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. Oh, that looks good. I like it. <laughs> I cannot sing. Sorry, I can't. 
Now, Jonna, if Jonna could sing, that girl can sing. And Darcy. I can. I cannot. <laughs> I wish I could. I always wish I could. Like being a choir or something like that, but no. <laughs> I cannot sing. There, that looks pretty good. I like the go I like the gold glitter on there. Like the flakes. So that looks pretty good. <laughs> You're back. <laughs> you like the picture? <laughs> it's coming out cute. And then I can always put in here owl, owl, I will always, I don't know, always what? <laughs> always create. I don't know. It was supposed to be something for spring. But I think that's, I don't really think it needs anything else. Let's put the stickles on there. My gosh, you guys had me on here longer than I was going to be. <laughs> I'll have to just come up with some type of a quote for it. How's that look? Can you see? Oh, let me see. <laughs> it's cute, right? <laughs> so, let me move all this. Take this off. Take that off. So, there's the stickles. You can see the stickles on it. And there's our little... Before we go, I'll have to put just Star Wants ears on them at least. <laughs> Let me see if I have enough paper here to put some type of ears on him. Like pointy ears? I don't know what kind of ears you want on him. Like this? Pointy ears? <laughs> Look this up. Let's cut this off a little bit. Like that? That's what you want? Pointy ears? <laughs> I need uh, my glue stick. That's what he needed. Pointy ears. <laughs> How was that? So I think it looks good. Right? <laughs> pointy ears. Now he's got little pointy ears. I think I just made his, his head a little bit too big. <laughs> but his feet look cute. Don't his feet look cute? And his cute little body. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> I'm leaving too soon. Yep. You guys have any questions? And then I'll just do some type of quote over here. But it came out cute. I really like it. Um, but, yeah. So you learned how to do the tree. It was really easy. It's easy to do the tree. I love doing the paper towel trees. And you can see all the different colors in it. In the tree. And the wrinkles. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Barb. So. So, yeah. I love doing the paper towels. Next time I'll do like a palm tree and on a beach scene and we'll do a paper towel. So, so, all right. So I've been on longer than I thought. I just thought I'd be only on for like till 930 or so, but <laughs> thanks for the ears. That's what it needed to are the ears. And then I'll go back and put some glossy accent on his eyes. <laughs> thanks, Jeannie. <laughs> so, yeah, but it looks really good. The moon looks good. Thank you, Happy Diane. <laughs> Yep, he's just got here for the end. <laughs> All right, so um, tomorrow, don't forget, Dee Dee's on. She has her, um, if you want to follow along, how she's going to teach us how to, where's my book? How to sketch um, the little girl. 
And she has um, a PDF on her um, blog that you can download. You can see it in the white better. So she's going to teach us how to do that tomorrow. And she's inkwell. And she's on usually, usually around 9. So. And then um, Jean is on after that at 4 o'clock. Right, Jean? Yep. It was a lot of fun. Good. Thanks, coming. Thanks for joining me, you guys. <laughs> oh, thank you, Kathy. <laughs> Nothing compared to you. <laughs> uh, I practice a little bit more, and then we'll do some of those mermaid fish. I really want to do those. The, um, yeah, the mermaid fish. Thanks, Di. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Thank you very much. All right, so then, um, yep, and then I'll see you on Wednesday. Wednesday, I'll be back on. Yep, 8 o'clock. <laughs> Bye, Mitz Mitz. <laughs> Bye. Thanks, guys. Bye.